Hello guys and welcome to the video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Add to Cart shortcode in WooCommerce. So if you want to use the Add to Cart shortcode on your WordPress site, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. So we're going to be using this article as guide and as usual, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the article so you can use this as a guide also. Uh, so WooCommerce has short code functionality, uh, which are just little codes that allow you to add uh, WooCommerce goods and call to actions in different parts of your website. So it allows you to do custom stuff. So if you don't want to use the default image of, of products, but you still want to add in the add to cart or buy now button, you can use WooCommerce short codes. Okay. So uh, in this tutorial, we're just going to be using one of these short codes, which is WooCommerce Add to Cart. So if you scroll down the post, you're going to see the short code here. So as long as you've installed WooCommerce, you're going to have access to this short code. So the short code is very straightforward, add underscore to underscore cart. So it can take the following arguments. Um, you can add style, you can add XKU, you can show price and you can add a class and quantity so this basically allows you to create a custom add to cart button for any product so this id bit here is uh, the id of the product that you're trying trying to um, add create an add to cart uh, button for so i'm going to show you a good example of this um, i'm going to copy this code and we'll go over to uh, wordpress um, site so this is the post editor and I'm going to try adding creating a custom product on um, post okay so I'm just going to type in image here and insert an image from the media gallery so I'm just going to select this and add this here so if you're trying to create a custom product uh, custom product page and you want to be able to add in the an add to cart button for the product without embedding a complete WooCommerce product. You can just use the add to cart button. So to add the add to cart uh, button here, we need to add a short code block. So I'll click on the plus sign and select short code. Okay. So once you have that here, you have to paste in the code. So this is add to cart. So if you just add in add to cart, it's not going. Obviously, it's not going to work. You need to add in the argument. So the first uh, argument here the most important argument is the ID okay so you just type in ID equals to they add two double quotes so you go over to your products page and you grab the ID of the product you're trying to sell so this is a product here and this is ID 55 so I'm going to copy this we'll go back to add products and paste this in here so once you paste this here automatically WordPress is going to know that this is the specific product you're trying to pull uh, a button for. So I'm just going to preview this so we can see how it looks on a live site. Okay, so this is the product and this is the add to cart button. So the reason it's looking a little bit um, weird here is because this is installed and that's where this style bit comes in. So you can actually use CSS to style the add to cart button so if i type in style here equal sign and double quote i can add in any css style here any css style that i want so for example i could change the background color to black and i could change the color of the text to white so let's just see how this looks on the live site so i'm going to preview this generate a new preview and let's scroll down and now as you can see uh, it's a little bit better so you can use CSS to style this as uh, much as you want uh, there are also some other parameters here you can add the SKU you can add the quantity so if you want someone to be able to add 10 products at a time you have to set the quantity uh, attributes on this shortcode here okay so you can also add a class if you want to style this using 
uh, your CSS file, uh, you can disable or enable price. So by default, price is always going to show. You can disable that if you want also. So it's very easy to use the AutoCAD button and straightforward. You just have all these things to add and play around with to get what you want. And it's mostly used for custom made uh, pages. So if you have a, a product page, you're trying to create a custom made product page and you want to be able to add an add to cart button without pulling in uh, WooCommerce native product embeds, you can just use this uh, short code. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any questions related to the video, don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below. You can subscribe to our channel for more content and I'll see you guys in the next video.